I'm just gonna, ew, what the heck? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see, I'm looking very nice today. Today we're doing makeup, but not just any makeup. Today's makeup is gonna be pairing it with the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I recently put out a video on the sunscreen and while I was reading out the background on the sunscreen, they did say that it's good for makeup. So I wanted to put it to the test. So that is why we're doing makeup today. Do you know what, so far I actually do quite like the finished look, but if you watch until the end, I talk in a bit more detail about how my face is feeling. I also talk about what I like and what I did like about the sunscreen having used it for a couple of days now so make sure you watch the full video to know everything about the sunscreen so let's just jump straight into the video okay guys so I have already done skincare I've done toner essence serum face cream I haven't filmed any of that stuff we've seen that a million times before so because I've done all of that stuff we've not yet done sunscreen which is where we meet each other today so I've got my super cute sunscreen so I'm just gonna whack this on and then we're gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go on to makeup and while I put this on I just want to discuss this sunscreen I've now been using it for a couple of days so I think I filmed this video like on Sunday or Saturday and today is Thursday also today is the first of April pinch punch first of the month <laughs> so guys so I've been using this for a couple of days and I Ooh, I don't like this sunscreen it's not it's not that nice I mean for all intents and purposes I love that it's clear I love that it goes on brown I love how soft it makes my skin but there's something about the texture of it when it's on my fingers that I really do not like it's got a very kind of like oily like it's not oily the actual product isn't oily but it feels like dry oil and I really hate that feeling I think I touched upon it in my actual first impressions video I was talking a bit about the texture and how I didn't really like it and I thought the texture would change I thought it only felt like that because I hadn't creamed my hands yet but even with moisturized hands it still has that weird like ugh, I just don't like the texture of this at all I don't like the texture of it on my fingers or the texture of it when I'm actually applying it onto my face like it just doesn't feel nice but once it's on my face and then I touch my face my face feels fine it feels really smooth and really like petal soft but it's just getting it from the tube to my face is a no-no so definitely will not be rebuying the sunscreen I think if it properly felt like a gel like a wet gel I think I would like it a lot more but because it's very like solid and like it just feels like dry oil I just I just do not like the texture but apart from the texture this is actually quite a good sunscreen but because texture is quite important as well I can't really recommend it for that purpose but I'm still gonna keep using it until it finishes because I don't want to waste product or anything and you know aside from the texture it does look good on the skin and I do like how my face feels so just wanted to throw that out there before we jump in anyway guys so before we jump into makeup, I'm just going to quickly oil up my chest because I'm wearing a low cut top today. Ooh, it's 19 past 8 so I better hurry. I think I've got a meeting starting soon. <laughs> I feel like I always have meetings when I come on here to film in the mornings. I need to pick better days to film. I'm just going to rub this on my chest area. Like even this, so this is the Glow Pot Marula Oil facial serum even this has a nice nicer texture than the super goop sunscreen like I don't know but if you do want any more information on the super goop sunscreen I do have a video on that so make sure you check that out okay so while I wait for the sunscreen to settle in before you get onto makeup I'm going to get dressed well, I'm gonna finish getting dressed just gonna put on my top and then we will be back <laughs> Okay, guys, so I am dressed. I'm going to show you my outfit at the end. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into makeup. So I'm just going to do my signature, simple, everyday, pink, glowy makeup look. And we're going to see how that feels with the sunscreen. So far, like I said, my face does feel really good. It feels really smooth. It feels like everything is one what's the word it feels like everything's just like one like texture it's like a really flat surface so I think this is going to be really good for makeup okay so let's start as always I've got my banish vitamin c beauty licks and I'm just going to spray that on my brush I don't know if I want to go for like glowy with the bronze glow drops but maybe today we will miss the bronze glow drops I don't think I need a lot of bronzing but I'm quite tempted Ugh. It's all like separated. This is all separated. I need to give this a good shake. Do you know what? We're gonna do like one drop of this just because 
you guys know me next i've got my nyx born to glow foundation in cappuccino i actually need to get a new one of these because this one's nearly finished one pump of this like not even okay two drops that was an accident i do this look in every single makeup video so if you want a closer look at everything just check out some of my past videos and i'm just gonna ew what the heck that's weird look at my face interesting i don't know where this white stuff has come from so let me try wiping it off i think we have some pilling going on that's very weird anyway let me put this on top of my face and hope that this shit goes away oh wow i literally look like a completely different being ew what in the world guys do you see first of all i never come out looking like a different color but that is weird i mean i think this will oxidize a tiny bit like that i know but the way that we look so different what the heck oh I don't know how I feel about this. I feel very weird and I don't know what to blame. It could be a many number of things. Okay, but you know, all in all, I don't look too crazy. I don't look as bad as I did when I first put this on. So we're kind of matching to the chest. Kind of matching to the chest. Ooh, look at that glow on the chest. Yeah, do you know what? That's actually okay. I think it was just the initial putting on was a bit random. I don't know about those white things that were on my face before, but they seem to have gone so i think that was pilling so i think maybe you need to not put on so much sunscreen which is kind of dumb because you need sunscreen protection okay do you know what for now because i'm in a rush it's 8 30 this will just have to do the next we're gonna do blush the blush i have so i've got my new blush i've got eve and i've got storm this is my new favorite makeup combo to do just to mix these two colors together and then literally plaster my whole face in it just to give me a bit of like a red pink kind of look I, you guys know i love me some pink just gonna do like a real tiny tiny teeny tiny bit because i always put on way too much that's enough too much some could even say you really just need a tiny tiny bit of this i really shouldn't use storm because it's super old but i'm also like who actually throws out the makeup <gasps> not me <laughs> When you're looking like a clown okay then with my brush I'm literally just gonna go back in and like tap tap the whole thing out because girl we look a mess i think i'm actually just like tapping everything off to be honest like i feel like there's no pink but there's a very very subtle hints of pink a nice kind of rosy pink like i think i just love the rosy pink look okie dokes I think it'll look a lot better once I put my mascara on. But next we have mascara. This is the Rodeal Glamour Lash XXL Mascara in Mink. Just a good old stable mascara that will get you from A to B in less time. B being bold, beautiful lashes. Okay, guys. Wow, I'm literally in tears. I think the lashes are where I want them. Okay, guys. So this is the makeup look finished. I think what I need is some kind of... I don't know like a setting spray or something i look really like old i don't know what's going on with that okay so my meeting starts at nine it is 20 to nine so we've got like 20 minutes to finish getting ready but you know i think for all intents and purposes this is the makeup look finished i'm doing a new thing where i like to put mascara on the outer corner of my lashes i just like that kind of i don't know what shape you would call it almost like a more cat eye kind of look so it's not all just like plain underneath it looks a bit messy solely because i don't know why my eyes are watering so much weird okay then next just to finish off the look i've got earrings um i don't know what earrings i want to do today i'm like what earrings i kind of want to do like a really big earring but i'm also like let's do a small earring so today i'm going to do these cute square hoop earrings from design b i got these from asos i have a whole video about all of my gold earrings so make sure you check that out I love these because these are a different kind of hoop. These are a square hoop, so they just look a bit different. Do you know, I kind of want to wear a bigger hoop all of a sudden, but I don't have time to go back and look. Okay, so that is on. Let's take this off and do hair. Ugh, I don't know what I want to do with my hair today. Yeah, let's tie the hair up. Okay, I should have brought some hair cream because this spray is finished. There's literally nothing in it. 
So I just sprayed my hair with the tiny remnants of my Born Beautiful Naturals Lock It In Moisture Spray. This is really good if you have like braids, locks, sister locks, twists, any kind of like hair extension. I feel like this is going to be good for that. I'm going to have to crimp my hair again because there was hardly anything in that bottle. My hair is dry. So I'm kind of torn between just keeping the hair like this at a side part or like properly putting it up. What do we think? So like this. It looks really nice just down like this, but do you know what? That actually looks quite cute. But I want to go for the hair up. <laughs> I'm editing. What was I editing? So yesterday I was editing my Zellens video, my Zellens sunscreen video. I love that sunscreen and I miss that sunscreen so much. And I loved how my hair was. It was like updo with like tan jewels down the front. I was like, that is a look. So I want to recreate that today. Okay, but I need to hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 15 minutes until my meeting and I've not even prepared for it. This is the story of my life. Okay, so that's kind of that. That's the look. And then I want to do two in the front. Oh, that's very cute. And I like that we can kind of see some kind of earring. Okay, guys, so to properly complete the look, I'm going to go in with some lip balm. This is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. But I look so different. I don't think I've actually done makeup with twists okay cute anyway guys so this is the final look i like it it looks the same every time i wear makeup um in terms of outfits today i'm wearing this zara square neck top i featured this in my square neck top haul video a couple of weeks ago probably a month ago by now um i just love it and i'm wearing it with this blue asos tracksuit nice and navy i love navy and black i think it's such a nice color combination i said i probably wouldn't wear this top to work but because i'm working from home and it looks professional ish i've actually worn this a couple of times i quite like it and also because of the way the camera just comes up to your shoulders no one sees how low cut it is but i really really like it oh look at the glowy chest anyway guys so guys this is us done for today in terms of my face right now using this sunscreen my face does feel a bit um thick it feels a bit heavy it really feels like there's a lot of product on my face you guys saw those white bits on my face i think that was pilling so i think i put a bit too much you know moisturizer on or serum on or i just used like the wrong the wrong kind of products but in terms of my makeup i think everything looks normal it looks how it usually looks it's very glowy it's brown we have the red kind of undertones in there but um it does feel a bit thick and it does feel like there is a lot of stuff on my face but not necessarily like it's clogging my face so definitely something to think about but I will keep you posted on what my face looks like at the end of the day just so we can compare what the face is looking like hey guys I'm in the bathroom I am just about to take off my makeup using the Elemis Pro Cleansing Balm and the Dr Barbara Sturm Foam Cleanser but I just wanted to jump on to show you my face the lighting is a bit trash very trash so you can't really see but all in all my makeup stayed on all day i kind of feel like my makeup always tends to stay on these days so nothing super different the only issue is that my face feels so dry my face has been feeling dry literally <laughs> since the morning so you think it's been over 12 hours of me having to have my makeup like this so even though i feel like the makeup went on top of the super goop unseen sunscreen really well went on quite nicely it's it's very drying and i wouldn't recommend wearing it with foundation or really underneath makeup i mean you obviously still can because it goes on nicely but you just need to consider that it will make your face dry it's made my face so dry tonight the main thing is going to be hydration making sure that my face is just super hydrated but yeah i think if you've got dry skin Beware definitely, maybe spritz your face throughout the day. I should have actually sprayed my face at some point during the day just to rehydrate it because I think that would have kept my face less dehydrated and less dry. But if you do want to wear makeup with the sunscreen, then make sure that you are spritzing your face throughout the day. Also make sure that you're wearing like a dewy, like glowy liquid foundation because I think a matte foundation your face would just be so dry. But yeah, those are just my two cents. Anyway, I am now going to wash my face. So let's get back to the video. But yeah, 
Apart from that, if you want any more information on the sunscreen, make sure you check out that video after this video. And if you want any information on the makeup, just watch any of my previous makeup videos because like I said, my makeup looks exactly the same every single time. <laughs> but yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And in the meantime, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.